With yet another passing storm in the rearview mirror, futures traders looked ahead to the potential for more cold to close out the winter season. Natural gas futures prices ended the week on firmer ground as a chillier March outlook and the continued ramp of a key export facility supported the market. The latest models indicated that demand would be near to above normal for the next 8 to 15 days, particularly over the northern United States, during from March 5 to 11. It remains to be seen if the development of blocking in the high latitudes can send colder than normal temperatures deep into the lower 48 for March 7 to 15. However, the latest longer range projections have moved more decisively in the colder direction toward the middle of March. This is as cold as we have seen these longer range projections all season long, so the risk does appear to be growing for a chilly period around the middle of the month. The Energy Information Administration said stocks as of February 17 stood at 2,195 billion cubic feet, which is 395 billion higher than year-ago levels and 289 billion higher than the five-year average. What's more, analysts expected yet another small withdrawal in the upcoming EIA report. The preliminary modeling pointed toward a draw of 60 billion cubic feet for the week ending February 24. This would compare with the five-year average withdrawal of 134 billion cubic feet. Beyond then, however, it appears that the risk of March being overly warm has lowered based on the latest weather models. If cold can hold and sustain itself deeper into March, end-of-March storage levels could be pulled back under 1.9 trillion cubic feet. The developing blocking pattern should give this colder turn a better chance to verify, but it is not a guarantee. Confidence will increase if we see the colder pattern progress into the 6-10 to 10 day window in next week's guidance. Weather aside, there are other signs the market may be on the cusp of a shift in direction. For one, with natural gas prices in the $2 range, coal is being pushed out of the power generation market in favor of gas. This has helped to boost power burns when the weather alone does not lend much support. Freeport LNG also is slowly returning to full operations, but the market appears to be still discounting Freeport's return. However, with the potential for record liquefied natural gas feed gas demand within 30 to 45 days, this may help to drive mild deficits relative to normalized five-year average storage trends. Natural gas exchange traded funds rose as by the dip investors seek to take advantage of a recent tumble in the commodities price. Despite the falling price in gas futures, ETF investors are betting on a reversal. Year-to-date, Boyle and Ung have brought in $1.7 billion in investor funds year-to-date, compared with the $275 million that exited the funds in the same period last year. Much of the rally in flows could be attributed to a buy-the-dip mentality. The change in inventory trajectory and concerns about future demand, especially considering calls for a U.S. recession later in 2023 have pushed gas prices down, and prices may remain depressed for the first half of 2023 before rising again. While prices fell as temperatures this winter averaged 5 degrees above the 100-year average, summer cooling demand should boost futures later this year, so the prices will eventually rally from the $2 range. Moreover, despite recently falling gas prices, the gas situation in Europe remains tight, and the situation could quickly worsen by the end of the year. There are two key upside risks for EU gas prices. Firstly, the bulk of Russian gas flows to the EU have already been halted. However, there is still the risk that flows via Ukraine and possibly even through Turkstream are stopped. The second key risk is related to Chinese LNG demand. If Chinese demand surprised to the upside, this would mean a tighter than expected LNG market, increasing the need for Europe to compete more aggressively with Asia for supply. This would also mean higher than expected prices.